standing tall at the gateway to the shipyards. The Port Glasgow shipbuilders are an impressive installation showcasing the area's famous industrial past. It's a dynamic sculpture that they are leaning forward, they, they're pitching their weight forward. It really caused a lot of structural engineering problems. You know, really a very technical sculpture to do. I want to make something that sort of reflected all those people who put their energy into making this area world famous, Clyde built. These 10 metre tall figures have a combined weight of 14 tonnes and are thought to be the largest sculptures of shipbuilders in the UK. Now, despite being delayed, relocated and over budget, they're proving to be a favourite with the locals and those who have travelled to come and see them. We travelled up from Kilmarnock just to have a look at them in situ. I'd seen them on the internet and in the newspapers, but uh, it's great to see them. Um, much better than I ever thought they were going to be. They're good for the area, yeah. Um, first the size was a wee bit overwhelming and then as the days have got on and you look at them you think oh, they're really good. Seeing the boats come in, you see everybody stopping, keeping half the pictures of all that, aye. Absolutely. It's bringing a lot of attraction in, you know what I mean? People come over to see it. Dubbed the Kelpies of the West, it's hoped these shipbuilders will bring similar economic benefits like the past they represent. We've not got very many monuments and sculptures like this in, in the area. In fact, we've not got very many in the west of Scotland. So I think it's attracting so much attention for folk that say driving past and they, hopefully the folk will stop, come out, see the sculptures and, as I say, example what we've, what we've got in them are quite to offer. Lights and other final touches will be added over the coming weeks, allowing locals and visitors to reflect on the history of the town. Vanessa Taff, STV News, Port Glasgow.